Hello, my gorgeous and wonderful Geminis. I just did the best reading for you guys, and I didn't press record. <sighs> so, now I'm going to start over. Let's see what we get this time. I hope that you guys are well and happy and shiny and new and loving life and all things wonderful. I'm doing something a bit different this month. Um, I'm just going to shuffle and cut and deal and we'll see. Oh, what's that? Hang on while I put my eyes on. Four of Swords. Now, right. You guys need a rest, do you? Need a rest? Hmm. you got to watch this season. Tis the season for going crazy and overthinking and stressing and worrying. So we're not going to do that, are we, Gemini? No. No, we're not. We're going to have a lovely time. It's going to be a nice season. Right. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the chariot. Now, this came out for you in the last reading I just did. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we've got the chariot moving forward in a new truth. Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords. Very nice. You've been feeling left out, um, maybe not wanted. So, you're saying... You're saying, screw that, I'm good, I'm freaking awesome actually, and I know my own truth and my own worth. Thank you very much. We're going to move right along and uh, rock the world because we're freaking awesome. I love Gemini. Right, what's recently been happening? Yes. Something's come to an end, and I'm guessing it's the crap you've put up with. Where are we now? We are the Knight of Pentacles. Now, that's slow-moving energy, but it's moving forward in a very grounded, very solid, um, very determined manner. I like that. I like that a lot. What's blocking you? The Six of Cups. Thinking about the past. The past, the past, the past. Reminiscing about the past. What happens... Here you go. Here's my mini lesson for today, my darlings. What happens when we let the past go? Is quite often, we... The longer it goes, I think it's self-protection mechanism... We don't remember the bad stuff as much and we start remembering the good stuff more. Hang on, my dog's just about to protect the house. Barney. Come on, baby. Good boy. Just a good boy. Just a good boy. Yes. Anyway, getting back now that the guard dog's back at his post. Um, we we start remembering the good stuff and especially if we go from a couple to a loan because it wasn't healthy for us we start remembering the good stuff and then we start blocking our progress because we keep umming and ahhing that's what's blocking you but as you well know it wasn't all sunshine and roses so consciously you know it's done it's a ten of swords you know, you know it's done. There's no doubt about this. It's it's done. You know it. Subconsciously is the Queen of Wands. Now that's passion. And if you say, look at her, she's got the cat. They're both looking forward. That's your subconscious. 
That's where you truly lie. That's your true power, but you're not recognising it yet. I'm not saying you won't, I'm saying yet. Because consciously, you're still thinking about the end of this and how done you are, which you are. Stop reminiscing. It's done. Don't mean to sound heartless, but you know this is bad. You know this was bad. You know it's time to let it go. You can't put a pretty mask on it. So, immediate future, you've got the three of wands. There you go. Moving forward. Um, waiting for your ships to come in. Now, you are moving forward. You are getting grounded and stable and reliable. And you are. It's coming. You know, Gemini... I know a few Geminis and patience and time and waiting, not good for Geminis because they get all up in their heads and they overthink and things need to move right along once they make a decision. There's no dicking about with a Gemini. Advice is Nine of Pentacles. Look at you in all your awesomeness. Independence, growth, abundance, free-spirited. Oh, that's your advice. Get into that energy and, oh, there you go, Queen of Cups. So you have the Queen and the Queen. You've got the Queen of Passion and Drive and Fire and, and Movement and you've got the Queen of Emotional Stability, Love, Compassion and Generosity. Those two together balance each other out. The water, you know, make sure the fire doesn't get too dragony and the fire makes sure the water doesn't drown in their own sorrow. So those two queens together makes one freaking bang up awesome person. And whoever did this, whoever was responsible for that, you need to thank. I would thank them very much. And that's sincere. I would sincerely thank whoever did that because it has led you to this truth that you are and that is all kinds of force power freaking mm, wonderful i wish this was me alas it's not i might check if i've got any gemini in my sign just so that i can have this because this is an awesome person all right my loves let's see if there's an advice card for you uh this is the answer is simple deck. And let's see if there's an advice card. No, oh, there it is. Now, why? Right, I couldn't work out why this had come out because the energy is step into your own worth, step into a very grounded, passionate, the real you, let your inner fire out, let that go. But this is, is a very strong... Took me a while because I'm not real bright. Very strong message for you to step out of this thoughts of how, how, just how damaged you were and step into the energy of giving and generosity, compassion, kindness, because that's, that's your true, that is your true gift. That is really your true gift. You know, you are the communicators. You're cheeky. 
you're very witty and and you love growth you know expansion sharing knowledge you love that so go out and do it get out of this you it's done it's dusted and you can thank them thank you very much because now i'm going in the direction i was supposed to be going all along yeah, i got a bit forgetful of that now i'm moving back into my helping others phase and by doing that i will be living my truth go you love it love it love it please let me know how you go because i want to know if um if you managed to get away from this. I love you all. Uh, I hope November is kind to you. And I will see you soon. Love, hugs, and as always, a great big kiss. Mwah.